Hello, this is Victor. I'm here again. I'm continuing the paint job on the aliens. I will start doing the flesh. And I want to do very pale flesh, as you can see in that alien here. So this is my target also in this one. So what I will do first, what I did first is I paint the flesh using flight one flesh. Sorry one flesh okay and now I will create my wash with cadian flesh stone to do that sorry to put my I will use cadian flesh stone I will put some here a little bit here and then I will clean my brush and I will mix with medium mix it to check that the consistency is the one I want I want it even a little bit more liquid I want to create as like a wash so I want this to be quite liquid I will do another check so yeah, it's looking right then I will start applying first on the arm and then I will only apply between the muzzles so You see, like that, only between the muscles of the arm. When you apply too much, you can dry a little bit. Um, here, I will put a little bit also. So this is one arm, I will do the other one later on because now I want to show you in the case of the face what I will do is I will apply on the ace here where you have the ace next to the mouth so I will in the case of the face I will do more like a, a standard wash you see that the paint is very thin so it's have the consistency of a of a wash so this is how it's looking like so this is when you don't have the wash you want you take a paint you put some medium and you can create your wash so it's giving very nice shading so this is going it's how it's going to look the face and then We'll take a small clamp. We'll put a little more shading on the A. So normally in the face when you do the faces, you should I will recommend to put quite heavy shade around the A's, then a little bit shade around the face. It's especially important to have shading on the A's. Is giving more personality and is helping to to show the factions of the to show the yeah the, the expression. So here you see also in that arm we'll apply the wash. It's still very thin.
So this is. Then I will apply also here next to the glove. So this glove will will look like after applying the. This is why you make also the fingers. In the case, the fingers of of the feet. So. So it's not the finger, the tooth on the tooth that I also and I will also apply. See, like something you can do a real wash, and then later on we will clean the wash again. If we do with any other wash, so you see that it's very soft and it's matching very well. a little bit here on the belly so this will be the wash so now I let it dry for a couple of minutes and I will return to the miniature now before continuing with the skin I will do first the ace I told in another video that I like to do the ace first because uh, sometimes you you are dirtying a little bit around the A, and then I w I will clean up this if I make a mistake after with the paint when I doing the highlights. So to do the A, I will use black. First, and I like to paint. I take. So I paint the ace like that. Next step will be will be to apply white. So I take white scar. Yeah, I will try to paint the middle of the A with uh, leaving some black around
so it will look something like that I don't know if it's you can see this well in the camera so and then the next step will be to do the black again and instead of making a dot in the middle of the A what I will do is a thick line line that is going from top to bottom of the A or a big dot that is, is not only in the middle so it's also touching the top and bottom of the black part of the A this is the part that sometimes I prefer to to dirtin a little bit the round but ensure that the this is one So, this is how it's looking like right now, but as you can see in that A, I'm not very happy with the end result. So, I will, now what I will do, is I will thin a little bit the blank around the A. So, I take again, Calium Flight, that is the one that I used to do the shades. I will paint around the A. So sometimes it can be quite difficult to to do, do the A's, as you see now I did too much so this is how we look like Now you can see this way correctly in the camera. And now the next step will do will be to do the highlights. And to do the highlights, I will use both color both colors at the same time. So I will use um this here palette witch flesh. put some water to make it thinner and I will use again flat one flesh so I will start first with the lighter color 
and I will start doing the highlights. So this is one of the, the first highlight. Now I will use a little bit of the flesh to do some edits. Touches then. Another thing that I, I would like to explain now that I'm doing the face is when you do the mouth don't use red because red will look like he's vomiting blood or yeah or he have the the lips painted in red so red is not is not a good and then if you see a mouth normally it's dark it's not red so what I would recommend is I use Agvax air shade and I apply a little bit of Agvax air shade so this is how it will look like the link is focusing so I will leave the face here now I will do the paled flesh on the rest of the miniature so again I will start doing highlights with the palette which flesh and I will do, for example, in the case of the muscles, I will do in, on the top of them. This time I want to go for very pale flesh on them. So, and this color is almost white. I think it's matching very well with the Dark Elder. So this is an example on this arm, you can see one arm compared to the other, the pistol versus the one that is ho hanging the, the agonizer. So now I will finalize all the pallet flesh. Of course in that part that I only have a very small piece of flesh, I will put a small just a, a, a touch there something like that to make it f more pallid so I will be back once the flesh is totally done I will follow the same process you have seen on the on the arm and the, on the face to finalize the miniature I will be back in a minute ok now the flesh is completely done so I think it comes quite nice Here we also have the face, head, 
So this is all for this video explaining how I do the pale flesh of the Hellions. And now we will start I will start working on the details and some of them as I will be repetition of what I did on the skateboard like the gems. I will not pay a lot of attention. So that's all for that video. Thanks a lot for watching and see you again later. Bye!